Hi everyone, Mike Smell here, Product Manager for Sim Studio Tools. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about how Sim Studio Tools can be used to simplify CAD geometry for simulation. And I specifically want to focus on how Sim Studio Tools can help you replace complex geometry with basic primitives. So here we are inside of Sim Studio Tools, and this assembly is a classic example of a CAD assembly that might not be ready for simulation in its direct uh, in its direct state. You'll notice we have a number of small parts in the model, we have part numbers on the model, and depending on the analysis type that we're going to conduct, this level of detail is in most cases not going to be necessary. So if we were looking at conducting a fluid flow analysis to look at moving um, air around this assembly to, to look at cooling properties, we probably would not need this level of detail um, to understand the bulk flow and heat transfer around the model. Similarly, if we were doing a modal analysis to calculate the natural frequencies, um, we're really looking at the overall mass and stiffness of the assembly uh, and not the specific detail of the diodes and the capacitors on the board. So in those cases, we can certainly make this model much, much simpler which will allow us to have much faster meshing times, much faster run times, and ultimately get to our results and make design decisions more quickly. So what we'll talk about for you know, both of those scenarios, how can SimStudio tools help you very quickly simplify some of these more complex geometries um, to prepare it for different types of simulation? And what we're going to look at is replacing complex bodies or sub-assemblies with basic primitives. So to do that, on the simplify uh, menu here in the toolbar in SimStudio Tools, we have a command called replace with primitives. And what this is going to allow us to do is select components or bodies on the model and replace that with a primitive shape. That can be a box, a cylinder, or a sphere. And we have the ability to control the alignment axis for those in the case of a cylinder, um, as well as the ability to uh, replace all occurrences. So in the case of you know, a component like these header components, these are in some scenarios different sizes, but if they were like parts, and maybe here this is a better example, the capacitors, we would have the ability to say replace all occurrences of those, um, rather than having to do them one at a time. So let's take a look at this workflow and hopefully this will be helpful as you start to simplify parts for simulation in going forward. So the first example here, we'll take a look at this component and you'll notice as soon as I uh, select that component, it's going to create a bounding box primitive shape over the entire area based on the centroid. And you'll notice that I have grab handles which will allow me to position and resize uh, the bounding box appropriately based on uh, what I'm trying to accomplish. So in this case, you know, we're not really worried about uh, the pins that run through the board here, but you know, we're just looking to represent the mass of this component. So I can simply adjust the size of the bounding box so that it meets up with the base. And further here, you can see it's a little bit wider than the overall part itself. So I can make that adjustment as well. Now, once I've got the box sized appropriately for the intents of my simplification, I can click OK, and you'll notice that the original component is suppressed, and it is replaced with the simple primitive shape that we just created. So once we do that, we can continue to work our way around the model, simplifying it as it makes sense, again, for our specific application. So pretty easily we can resize components, say OK, and we can start to replace more complex components on this subassembly or on this assembly as a whole with primitives that will again allow us to have a much more simplistic model for simulation um, if the simulation that we're trying to complete allows for this level of simplification. Uh, we'll do one more example here where we look at um, adding two shapes in to a more complex region 
of the model. So here we've got uh, a subassembly where we've got a kind of a base for the capacitor and then the capacitor itself. So first I'll potentially look at replacing the base of that. We'll select that, it'll drop a box in there and I can do that quite easily and we'll say okay. And you'll notice we had the replace all occurrences box checked so it replaced the base on not only the one that we selected but the other occurrence of that in the assembly. We'll then go ahead and do the same thing uh, for the capacitor itself. We'll change that to a cylinder and we'll align that with the y-axis and we'll size it appropriately. And again as we notice here replace all occurrences so when we say OK you'll notice it replaces both of those components. Okay. So we can use this command along with uh, other commands in SimStudio tools that are highlighted in other videos such as the ability to select and remove small components, uh, the ability to select and remove complex features, um, and the ability to identify interferences and remove them to quickly and accurately prepare our geometry for simulation. I hope that what you've learned in this video will help you uh, prepare for simulation in the future. Thanks for watching.